Hey guys, Andy Robertson here at CQ Academy. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you my exam day prep process. No, I'm not sitting for the CQ exam again. I'm actually sitting for the Six Sigma Green Belt exam, which is tomorrow. And so the, the prep process starts the night before where I prepare my resources, I set out everything, and I basically set myself up for success for the next morning. So for example, I've got my resource here, my, my Green Belt handbook. I've got all these sticky notes. I'm gonna do a whole separate video to show you how to do that because that's super important. It's gonna help save you a ton of time on the exam. I've got my wallet so that I have my, my form of identification. I've got my mask to get into the old pro metric center. I've got my non-scientific calculator, right? There's, there's a policy on that. You gotta have the right calculator. And I've also got my CQ Academy cheat sheet so that I've got all of those equations that I need on exam day so I can quickly look them up. Anyways, I wanted to share this 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 process with you so that you know what to expect on exam day and it all starts the night before. I'm gonna go get a good night's sleep. I'll see you guys again in the morning. All right, bye. Hey guys, it's Andy here. I'm here at the Pro Metrics Test Center. Remember, you wanna show up about 30 minutes early to allow for that check-in process. As part of that process, they're gonna give you a locker where you have to put all your personal stuff, your keys, your wallet, your purse, your snacks, uh, your your cell phone. Remember, you're going to be without your cell phone for the next four hours. So text your spouse, text your boss, your family, let them know you're going to be out of pocket for the next four hours uh, while you take the exam. By the way, I wanted to talk about the exam based strategy. So I always plan on taking a bathroom break about two hours into the exam. The reason I do that is to, first of all, stretch my legs, give my brain a little rest, but then also I bring some snacks. I've got apples, I've got almonds. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a quick 10 minutes give my brain a minute to rest and relax, eat those apples, those almonds, and get back in there for the next half of the exam. By the way, the, the two hour mark is halfway through the exam. So that's a great way to pace yourself. Are you ahead? Are you behind? Um, it's a great way to know whether you need to speed up or slow down. Anyways, remember to show up early, bring all your stuff, and uh, wish me some good luck while I get in there. All right, bye. Whoo, it's over, I just finished. Uh, it took me a little over three hours, but I finished. I did it, I passed. Um, so now I'm just gonna head home and and uh, and finish out the day. Anyways, super excited, man! I'm really excited that it's done. I'm excited that I passed, and I'm excited to share my tips and tricks, everything I learned with you guys, uh, to help you guys pass. All right, I'll see you guys. In, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, Andy here. I uh, got back to the house, had a chance to get, to get a quick bite to eat in a shower, and I'm back here just to give you kind of my final thoughts on the exam. Uh, by the way, I wanted to share what the actual experience is like. So you, you get into the Prometric Center, you put your stuff in the, in the locker, right, your, your keys, your cell phone, your wallet, and when you sit down for the exam, the first thing that they do is they actually walk you through a tutorial. So if you're nervous at all about the actual computer-based testing or whatever, they start off with a really nice tutorial that's off the clock, so it's not eating into your four hour time limit. You get to kind of sit there and practice. You can do things like highlight key phrases, you can flag questions, you can cross out wrong answers. So there's all sorts of different features that, that kind of help you progress through the exam nicely, and you can do that all before actually getting into the exam. By the way, you don't need to plan to bring pen or paper or even a calculator. They're gonna give all that to you. Although if you do want to bring your own calculator, I've got one that I recommend. I've got my TI-30X. I'll link that in the description below if you want to get it. It's like 16 bucks. Uh, pick that up and then practice with it before the actual exam. You don't want to be figuring out your calculator. In the exam, you want to practice with it so that on exam day you're as prepared as possible and you're managing your time. Speaking of managing your time, there's 100 questions on the exam and you get about four hours, which means you should be doing 25 questions an hour or you should be doing one question every two and a half minutes, right? It's like two minutes and 24 seconds. Now, what I recommend is that you target something more like two minutes per question. And what that does is that leaves you with time to go to the bathroom, right? I, I recommend everybody take a bathroom break. Your, your brain is like a muscle, it's gonna get tired. So halfway through the exam, about two hours through the exam, you should plan to take a break, stretch your legs, go to the bathroom, eat a snack, and just, just chill for a few minutes and let your brain kind of recharge and then get back after it. If you try to take the entire exam in one sitting, that's gonna put a heavy strain on your, on your mind and on your brain and you're not gonna perform as well in the back half of the exam. So you wanna make sure that for each particular question, you're getting through those questions in about two minutes uh, per question. And the reason I'm telling you that now is because when you practice, you should be holding yourself accountable to a two minute time period per question. If you're doing 15 questions, that's 30 minutes. If you're doing 10 questions, that's 20 minutes. So bake that into the way you practice so that on exam day, 
you're managing your time well because there's nothing worse than running out of time and having to guess or just straight up missing out on questions, okay? All right, that was it. Just to quickly recap those tips, plan the night before, set out all your stuff, get your resources ready, mark up your resources. I'll do a whole separate video on that, how to mark up your resources, get a good night's sleep, bring a snack, show up early, take a break in the middle of the exam, and try not to be too anxious. All right, that was it, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button below so other people just like you can find this. And if you wanna stay on that journey to become a green belt or a quality engineer, hit that subscribe button uh, down below because I'll be publishing more content and you get notified when I publish that stuff and you can grow and you can learn. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much, bye.